Hello students. Today we are going to talk about the cross multiplication method of solving the system of linear equation in two variables. So we deal with only one method that is the cross multiplication method. And the name of the chapter is a system of linear equations in two variables. Okay, now let's begin. Method of cross multiplication. Let us see what it is. By this method, we can find the value of x and y by using the coefficients and the constants. Using elimination method, we will find a relation between them. After that, we will devise a method to use the formula without remembering the formula. Let's begin. The general form of a linear equation in two variables is written as a1x plus b1y plus is equal to c1, where a1, b1, c1 are constants. The other equation is a2x plus b2y plus is equal to c2, where a2, b2, and c2 are constants. Okay. Now, this is your first equation. This is your second equation. Now, Eliminate variable y by multiplying equation 1 by b2 and equation 2 by b1 and subtract the two equations. So we are this is your first equation. We are multiplying it with b2 and this is your second equation. We multiply with b1. If you multiply with b2, this will take the form a1 b2 x plus b1, b2, y is equal to c, b2, c1. Next, the second equation will take b1, a2, x plus b1, b2, y is equal to b1, c2. Okay. Now, we go for subtracting these two equations. Subtract, subtract, subtract. When you subtract this, the middle term, this one, if you see here, this particular term, b1, b2, y, b1, b2, y, this is plus, this is minus, they will get cut. So, this is cancels. And what are we left with? That is, we are left with these two items, b1, b2, minus b1 a2 is equal to b2 c1 minus b1 c2. You take this term factor down, it becomes b2 c1 minus b1 c2 upon a1 b2 minus b1 a2. Clear? So we have found the x value. Now, to find this value of y, eliminate, similarly to eliminate variable x by multiplying equation 1 by a2 and the equation 2 by a1 and subtract 1 first from the second equation. So we are going to subtract the first from the second equation. Now, here this is your first equation. We are multiplying it with a1 and your second equation is a1 a2x, a1x plus b1y is equal to c1. We are multiplying with a2. So the first equation will take, the second equation takes the form a, a1, a2x plus b1, b2y is equal to c1, c2. And the This equation, which is a a one a two, so this will be a one a two x plus a two b one y is equal to a two c one. Now we are again subtracting it. When you subtract it, the sign becomes negative. This also becomes negative. This also becomes negative. Now if you see this, the first term a1, a2x, a1, a2x. This is positive, this is negative, this will get cancelled. We are left with 
a1 b b2 y so it will be a1 b2 minus a2 b1 y is equal to a1 c2 minus a2 c1 bring this term below it becomes y is equal to a1 c2 minus this term that is a2 c1 upon a1 b2 minus a2 b1 this is the y value clear so with the previous one we have calculated the x now we have calculated the y so method of cross multiplication so let so that this is actually we are talking about the definition we have calculated the x value and y value and we will arrive see so the let a1 x plus b1 y is equal to c1 and a2 x plus b2 y is equal to c2 be a system of simultaneous linear equations in two variables x and y such that a1 upon a2 is not equal to b1 upon b2 that means the ratio of the coefficients of x is not equal to the ratio of the coefficients of y that is a1 b2 minus a2 b1 is not equal to 0 if this condition applies then the system has a unique solution given by x is equal to b2x minus this. This is the value which we have just derived in the previous one slide. Clear? Now, you can determine this. You can determine the solution without remembering the formula by writing or writing the variables and the coefficients in the following manner. First, write x then write y, then write minus 1, okay, x, y, minus 1. First write the y coefficient. What is y coefficient? b1, b2. So let us write that first, b1, b2. Then write the constants. What are the constant? c1, c2. Write them c1, c2. Then you write x coefficient. x coefficient is a1, a2. Write them. And then write the y coefficient that is b1 b2 okay then to write this formula what you should do first multiply this with this this is like this first first this and then minus this first this minus this first this that is minus one upon this minus this okay so it will become x upon b1 c2 minus c1 b2. See this. y upon c1 a2 c1 a2 minus c2 a1 c2 a1 is equal to minus 1 upon a1 b2 a1 b2 minus a2 b1. Okay. So this is how you can without remembering this formula you can write it in this form and start putting it in this form. Clear? After doing that, we have put this just now. So after writing in this form, equate the first and the third expression to get the value of x. And the value of y is obtained by equating second and third expression. So that is, this is the first equation and this, this is the third expression. Equate them too. When you equate them, take this, this side. It becomes x is equal to minus 1 into this, open the bracket, this will become negative and this will become positive. So this comes front, b2c1 minus b1c2 upon a1, b2 minus a2, b1. Similarly, now equate this and this. Again, take it like this, minus 1. Again, this takes this form. So this becomes positive, this becomes negative and get it. Clear? So, I think you know it's pretty clear how we are we arriving at this formula without actually learning them just by writing the coefficient in a particular order, the order which I just mentioned. See, so now when you consider some examples and solve them while solving it, you will get a clear idea how to use it. Let's take the first question. Solve the following system of equation by cross multiplication method. This is how the question will be asked. That is, take the first question. This, these are the two equations. So, what do you have to do? First solution, this two equation. First, we'll write x, then we'll write y, then we'll write 1. First, what should we take? 
y coefficients. What is y coefficient? 3 and minus 2. Write them here. Then I have to take constants. 17, 6. Write them here. Then I have to take x coefficients. 2, 3. x coefficient. 2, 3. Then I have to take the y coefficient. Again, 3, minus 2. 3, minus 2. Clear? So first, get an idea how to write this. Once you are through this, you will be able to write the remaining thing much easily. Now, what you are supposed to do? First, multiply this with this. First, remember, this should be the order. Minus this. Y upon 17 into 3 minus 6 into 2. Minus 1 upon 2 into minus 2 minus 3 into 3. Okay? So, it's like this. X upon 3 into 6 minus 17 into minus 2. Y upon 17 into 3 minus 6 into 2 is equal to minus 1 upon 2 into minus 2 minus 3 into 3. Now let's simplify it. 3 6 are 18. 17 2 are 34 minus minus plus. So x upon 18 plus 34. y upon 17 3 are 51 minus 6 2 are 12 is equal to minus 1 upon 2 2 are 4 minus plus is minus the minus 3 3 are 9. So it becomes x upon add these two it becomes 52. Subtract these two get 39 and minus 1 upon minus 4 minus 9 is minus 30. So x upon equate the first and the third expression. x upon 52 is equal to minus 1 upon minus 13. So x is equal to minus 52. This is two, minus 52 upon minus minus cancels and 13 3 is 4. 13 4 are 52. So value of x is 4. Now equate the second and the third expression. This so one again take y is equal to minus 39 upon this minus minus cancel y 13 3 is 39 y is equal to 3. So 4 3 is the solution set. Clear? How to solve this? Now let's take the second equation. Solve the following system of equation by cross multiplication. The question will be this. Second question. Now it is x upon a plus y upon b is equal to a plus b. x upon a square plus y upon b square is equal to 2. So it is solution. So this can be written as the three equa the equations can be written as 1 upon a into x plus 1 upon b into y is equal to a plus b. 1 upon a square into x plus 1 upon b square into y is equal to 2. So this becomes you now the coefficients of x and y are very clear. Now let us write it in this form x, y, minus 1. First there should be y coefficients. Y coefficient is this and this. 1 upon b, 1, 1 upon b square. Constants. a plus b, 2. a plus b, 2. x coefficients. That is, 1 upon a, 1 upon a square. You can see for yourself, verify it. 1 upon a, 1 upon a square. Then again, y coefficient. This, 1 upon b upon 1 upon b square. So, x upon this into this. So, it will be this first. X upon first this multiply minus this into this. Then y upon this into this minus this. Minus 1 upon this into this minus this side. Clear? Yeah. So when you write it, 2 into 1 upon b minus a plus b into 1 upon b square is equal to y upon. 1 upon a square, a plus b into 1 upon a square minus 2 into 1 upon a is equal to minus 1 upon 1 upon a into 1 upon b square minus 1 upon a square into 1 upon b. So the thing is very clear now. Just multiply this 2 into a it becomes x upon 2 upon b minus a plus b upon b, a plus b upon a square minus 2 upon a is equal to 1 upon a is a b square minus 1 upon a square b. Now let us take LCM here and simplify it. 
So it becomes when you take calcium here, calcium is B square. So this should be multiplied with B. So it becomes 2B. 2B minus A minus B. Because of this minus sign, this also will become minus plus is minus, minus A minus B upon B square. Here again, calcium is A square. So here this should be multiplied with A. So it is A plus B minus A square. And here LCM is A square B square. So this is only one A. So multiply this with A. And this is only one B. Multiply with this B. So it is A minus B. So because 2B minus B is only one B. So it is B minus A upon B square. This is A minus 2A is minus A. So B minus A upon A square is equal to minus 1 upon A minus B upon A square B square. Equate the first and the last. When you equate it, take it, this one, this term here, minus B minus A upon B square divided by A minus B upon A square B square. So minus A, A minus B upon B square, when division is there, you have to take the reciprocal, A square B square upon A minus B. Now, when you open the bracket, it becomes minus B plus A, you become minus A minus B. A minus B upon B square into A square B square upon A. A minus B, A minus B will cancel. B square, B square also will cancel. And your answer is A square. Why I'm clear? Now let's equate the second and the third expression. What are the two expressions they're equating? We are equating the second and third expression. This, these are the two expressions we have equated. Take this one that side. Minus B minus A upon A square into this. It is like, take the reciprocal into it becomes, then open the bracket. It is A minus B upon A square into A square B square upon A minus B. A minus B, A minus B cancels. A square, A square cancels. You are left with y is equal to B square. So you got the answer. X is equal to A square and y is equal to B square. Third question. Now see this. I actually, here what I'm trying to make is, I'm trying to consider all types of equations so that when you are uh, practicing some, some other textbooks or some other way, you will know each type how you have to deal with it. That is the basic idea why I am taking questions of different type. Method is only cross multiplication method. But equations, you see, the previous question we had, the denominators. In the first question, it was a simple equation because we started with the uh, learning uh, the process. So I have taken the simple equation. Now I then I took a little slightly. And now this one is still different. Now you can see here how it is a minus bx plus a plus by is equal to a square minus 2ab plus minus b square. And here a plus bx plus y. So here we're going to open the bracket. So you now you see how the solution will be. Equation can be written as the first equation, there's no change. The second equation, what we do, this a plus b into x plus a plus b into y. I have just opened the bracket here. Okay. Now if you see a plus b into x, a plus b into y. Now we are going to use our cross multiplication method. First it should start with y coefficient. You don't actually when you practice once you have understood this, you don't have to write this actually. This I am just doing it for two, three sums. I will do it. After that I will stop also. So that you should know what you should take first. Okay. So that's why I'm just as a reminder, I'm writing it again and again so that you will remember that first what you have to take, you have to take the y coefficient. What is y? This a plus b, a plus b. So write that down. Then you have to take the constant. What is constant is full and this. Write it down. Then you have to take the x coefficient. X coefficient is a minus b, a plus b, a minus b, a plus b. And then again, you have to take the y coefficient, that is a plus b, a plus b, a plus b, a plus b. Okay. After writing this way, 
then x upon this into this first. This should be a first. This two should be multiplied first minus these two. And y upon these two minus these two. Clear? Now, x upon. Now, since it's a bigger expression, that's why I'm writing separately. x upon a plus b into a square plus b square. a plus b into a square minus b square minus a plus b into a square minus 2ab minus b square. y upon y upon this two. a plus b into this. a square minus 2ab minus b square minus a minus b into a square plus b square. And minus 1 upon minus 1 upon a minus b a plus b minus a plus b a plus b. Clear? All the three things. Now let's simplify each one of them. X. Now here what I have done is see here. What is it here? a plus b is here. a plus b is here also. So let us take it out as common. I have just taken out a plus b common. Once you take out a plus b common from here, what is left? a square plus b square. So I have written the first term a square plus b square. And the second one, again a plus b taken out common. So a square minus 2ab minus b square is left in the third. So now let's open the bracket. x upon a plus b is outside. a square plus b square minus a square. This minus minus becomes plus 2ab. Minus minus plus becomes plus b square. Now, if you see this, a square minus a square will cancel, isn't it? And b square plus b square becomes 2b square. So, x upon a plus b, b square plus 2ab plus b square. This can be written as x upon a plus b, 2b square plus 2ab. Take out common. 2b can be taken out common. 2b if you take out common. a plus b is the first bracket. And here b plus a again. So it becomes x upon 2b into a plus b whole square. a plus b, a plus b is a plus b whole square. Now write the second expression, that is y. Here, again what we have done. See this, I have just written the expression whole thing. Whole expression is written. Now what do you see here? A plus B, A minus B. Can't take out common. Isn't it? So you need to multiply it. A into A square is A raised to 3. A into 2AB is 2A square B. Minus A into B square is AB square. Plus A square B a square b minus 2ab square, 2ab square, plus minus is minus b raised to 3. Second bracket, a into a square is a raised to 3, a into b square is ab square, minus a square b minus b raised to 3. Open the bracket a raised to 3 minus 2 a square b minus a b square plus a square b minus 2 a b square minus b raised to 3 minus a raised to 3 minus a b square minus a square b this minus one plus and plus b raised to 3. Now let us see whether we can cut something. See here a raised to 3 minus a raised to 3 cancel it. a raised to 3 Minus a raised to 3 cancels. Then, minus 2 a square b, a square b, and a square b, plus a square b, plus a square b, is 2 a square b. Then, b raised to 3, minus b raised to 3. This also cancels. What is left out? a b square, minus 2ab square, 3ab square, <coughs> minus ab square, that is 4ab square. So, y upon minus 4ab square, y upon this. Okay. 
Now we have to take this third factor, that is minus one up. You take this one. Now let us proceed further. Here again, you see a plus b is common. Take it out. So here you will have a minus b minus a plus b. Open the bracket. Minus 1 upon a plus b. a minus b minus a minus b. So what will happen? Minus a minus a cancels. So it will be minus 1 upon a plus b into minus 2b. Yeah. So now we have got the three things. X values, Y values, and supply. We simplified it, and so individually, and then we will put them first and the last expression. This is the X expression it was, and this is your Y. Now let's put it here. Cross it. X is equal to minus two B into A plus B whole square upon A plus B upon minus two B. Minus two B minus two B cancels. A plus B and one A plus B cancel and X is equal to A plus B is the answer. Take the second and the third. Again, take it, cross it. Minus minus will become plus 4AB square, 4AB square upon A plus B into minus 2B. Now, two twos are four and one B cancels. So it becomes, and this minus plus becomes minus. Minus 2ab upon a plus b is the y value. Yeah. Yeah. If you have not understood, just go through the slide once more. Again, again, write it down and practice on your own. You get a clear idea how it is to be done. Step by step, I've taken up so that you will be clear and you won't be in much confusion. Now let's take the fourth question. Now say this, x and y is in the denominator. Okay. The previous second question, the coefficients were in the denominator, the new numerical values. Now here the variable itself is in the denominator. When such is the case, how to deal with it? Let us see this. Put 1 upon x as a and 1 upon y as b. The equation will take the form 2a plus 3b is 13, 5a minus 4b is minus 2. The equation has taken a simple form. Now you can do the thing as usual. a, b, minus 1. Understood? Here there are the coefficients. This is the variables. So in the previous questions, the variables were x, y. We are taking x, y. Here, the variables are A and B. So, you will take A and B. If A is taken, first you should start the thing with coefficients of B, Y variable. Then you start with the coefficient of the constants. Then we start with coefficient of X, 2 and 5. And then again, variables of mm, B, that is 3 minus 4. Coefficients. Again, this here like this, into this, into this, minus this, into this, minus this. So it is A upon 3 into minus 2 minus 13 into minus 4 is equal to B upon 13 into 5 minus 2 into minus 2 minus 1 upon 2 minus 4 into 5 into 3. 2, 3 is 6, 13, 4 is 52, minus, minus, plus. 13, 5 is 65, minus, minus, plus, 2, 2 is 4. Then, minus 8, minus 15. So it becomes A upon 52, minus 6 is 46, B upon 64, 5 plus 4 is 69, and minus 1 upon minus 23. Equate the first and last. This will give you minus 46 upon 23, minus minus cancels, and 23 to the 46. A is equal to 2. But what is A? 
You see what we have, what is a? A is 1 by x. A is 1 by x. So you take further, this implies 1 by x. Plus, you take this x here and 2, you bring it down, x is equal to 1 by 2. Clear? Now do with the second part of it. B upon 69 is equal to minus 1 upon 23. This will become B is equal to minus 69 upon minus 23. So this will give you B is equal to 3. But what is B? B is 1 by Y. So it becomes Y will be 1 by 3. Clear? X is equal to 1 by 2 and Y is equal to 1 by 3. Let's take the fifth question. Now equations. Now here there are no numbers. They are all letters only. In this way. So since it's letters, you will see how it has to be done. X, Y, minus 1. First, coefficients of Y. So B, A. Then constants. C, 1 plus C. Then X, A, B, and then B, A. Clear? I am not writing now. Now, by now, you should remember and practice it yourself. Like this, minus this. Like this, minus this. X upon, like this it is. B into 1 plus C minus C into A. Okay? Y upon C into B or B into C. And A into 1 plus C is equal to A square minus B square. Open the bracket. B plus BC minus AC upon is equal to Y upon BC minus A minus AC minus 1 upon A square minus B square. That is A plus B, A minus B. Now let us take this and this. Minus B into BC minus AC upon A minus B, A plus B. So minus B minus BC plus AC upon A minus B, A plus B. This will be your X value. Clear? X value, we have got it. Now let's... We go for a little further simplification. Now you see the second two terms. You can stop at this stage or you can proceed also. That's why I just taken other part also. Here both these two terms are having C as the common. So let us take out C common. That will become A minus B, C bracket A minus B upon this. So the, now you split this between these two terms. C upon A minus B upon A plus B, A minus B minus B upon A square minus B square. So minus this, this will cancel. will become C upon A plus B minus B upon A square minus B square. Now for the Y value. Cross it. Minus BC minus AC. Open the bracket, minus BC my plus A plus A C. Bring these two terms, A is common, so A upon A square minus B square. Between these two, you have got C common, C upon A minus B. These two terms will cancel, so your answer will be A upon A square minus B square plus C upon A plus B. It's complicated, but needle. Actually, you can stop at this rate. You should, they will give you full marks. Even then, sometimes what happens, you are referring, you are doing, solving from your textbook and the textbook backside answer is in a different form. So that different form will be in this one. That's why I showed you. You can stop at this stage. It's nothing wrong here. It's correct. But if it doesn't match with your backside answer of your textbook, proceed further, you'll get this and it will be correct. Okay, it will be either in this one or in this one, depending upon the author of the book, how he has written and where he wants to stop. That's what I ask the next question. Sixth question. 
Now see this. The brackets itself are a little complicated. You have to simplify this bracket first and then bring it in a form and then solve it. See this. X a minus b, a minus b, LCM is a minus b. So it will become a minus b whole square plus a b upon a minus b. And here it's a plus b, a plus b. So a plus b whole square minus a b upon a plus b. Now use a minus b whole square formula. a square plus b square minus 2ab plus ab upon a minus b is equal to y upon this also a square plus b square plus 2ab minus a upon a plus b. Minus 2ab plus ab is minus a. So it becomes a square plus b square minus ab upon a minus b. And it's become a square plus b square plus 2ab minus a, ab is plus ab upon a plus b. Cross multiply it. Take this term this side and take a minus b this side. Cross multiply. A plus this a plus b, take it and multiply with the numerator a plus b into a square plus b square minus a b into x plus a minus b into this a square plus b square plus a b into y. Now, if you see this, this is actually an identity. This a raised to 3 plus b raised to 3 into x is equal to this also an identity. a raised to 3 minus b raised to 3 into y. So this is identity you have studied in 9th standard. If you don't remember, this is the way, just this into this is equal to this. And this into this is this, okay? So now let us take this term also this side. It becomes a raised to three plus b raised to three into x minus a raised to three minus b raised to three into y is equal to zero. Let's take this as our first equation. And this is your second equation, which we already having. This is your second equation. Now we use the cross multiplication. x, y, Minus 1. What is the coefficient of x? Sorry, y. The constants. Coefficient of x and coefficient of y. So you have to multiply this way. This way. This way. This way. This way. x upon it'll 0 into this x upon, just a minute. So now, 0 this into this, minus 0 into this is what you have seen. Now, it will be 0 into 1 is 0. Something going wrong. So this one zero into one is zero. This is also zero. So it will be like this. When you take the next part, it will be x upon two a into a minus b. A into BC is equal to y upon minus 2a square into a raised to 3 plus b raised to 3 is equal to minus 1 upon this. So this is open the bracket, keep this as it is, this also has it is, and this is a raised to uh, b raised to 3 minus b raised to 3 can get cancelled and becomes 2a raised to 3. So this equate the first and the last, when you equate it, it becomes minus 1 into this whole thing. So minus minus is plus a square to a will become 2a square a raised to 3 b raised to 3 upon 2a raised to 3. So it becomes 2 2 cancels. 1 a is will remain in the denominator and a raised to 3 minus b raised to 3. Equate the second and the third expression. Take it across it. Minus minus 2a square into this. Again minus minus plus. 2a square a raised to 3 b raised to 3 upon 2. 2 2 cancels. Uh, it will be a raised to 3 plus b raised to 3 upon a. This is your x value and this is your y value. Six question over. Now let us take the seventh. 
Now this one, a square x plus b square y is equal to c square and b square x plus a square y is equal to d square. Now coefficients are different and all letters are also different. So normal x, y and minus one, b square, a square, that is the coefficient of x square, then constants, so this is the constant, then x con coefficients, and then y coefficients. So this is into this, minus this, this into this, this in minus this. Write it down. So b square, d square, minus a square, c square, is equal to c square, b square, minus a square, d square, is equal to a raised to to 4 minus b raised to 4. We create the first and the last. It becomes this. Take this bracket this side. Minus 1 into b square d square minus a square c square upon a raised to 4. <coughs> b raised to 4. Open the bracket. This becomes positive. A raised to a square c square minus b square d square upon a raised to 4 minus b raised to 4. Equate the second and the third. Go cross multiply, comes this. So this is your y value. Thing is clear, I think I don't, I've not explained it. It's, now let's take the last question, eighth question. Look at this. Solution. A plus this. Yeah, and this one, yes. X, Y, minus one. Y questions. This into this minus this. This into this minus this. This into this minus this. Okay. Let's write it down. X upon 3 into 2a minus b minus 2 into 2a plus b is equal to y upon 2 into a minus 2b minus 3 into a plus 2b is equal to minus 1 upon a plus 2b into 2a plus b minus a minus 2b into 2a minus b. Open the brackets. 2 into 3 is 6. 6a minus 3b minus 4a minus 2b is equal to 2a minus 4b minus 3a minus 6b is equal to a 2a square 2ab plus 4ab plus 2b square minus 2a square minus ab minus 4ab plus 2b square. Now see what we can do. 6a minus 4a is 2a. Minus 3b minus 2b is minus 5b. Why? 2a minus 3a is minus a. Minus 4b minus 6b is minus 10b is equal to minus 1 upon 2a square. Open the bracket first. 2a square ab 4ab minus uh, plus 2ab open. Minus 2ab plus ab plus 4ab minus 2b square. This will become a 2a square and 2a square cancels. Plus 2b square minus 2b square cancels. What is that? ab plus 4ab is 5ab, 6ab, 10ab. So it becomes x upon 2a minus 4b is equal to y upon minus a minus 10b equal minus 1 upon z. So take this one and equate it. It becomes minus 1 into 2a minus 5b upon 10ab. That means 5a 5b minus 2a upon 10ab and y will be minus on the bracket a plus 10b upon 10ab. Hope this is clear. So I think you have understood if all types of questions have been taken care of. In case you have any doubt, you can cross refer it again, check with this so that you will be able to solve all types of questions on based on cross multiplication method. You can share it with your friends and it will help them also
we do share it and let them be let so basic idea is that everybody should benefit. Thank you.